Barbie, pretty face, perfect body, pink seats in a Rari. Always fuck them like I'm sorry. Who the fuck is gonna protect? Yeah, this color is very pretty. Let me show y'all the lace. And it also comes with one of these bands in the inside, just like so that it's fitted real good. Let me see. This is a 20 inch and red, reddish brown. So yeah. And look at the hairline. Okay, y'all. So if you haven't already like comment, subscribe, join my family, be a gang member. And yes, I know I'm looking nappy by the head, but it's all good because we're going to change the game up real quick, I'm telling you. So, anywho, we're going to install this wig. Let's get right into it. I almost forgot to show y'all what was inside. Um, here is the box. Such a cute little box, like... Okay. Anywho, then they had this cute little bag. And y'all, I already opened in some of this stuff, but I still want to show y'all. Um, they give you wig caps, nails, and this is new for me because I've never had a hair company send nails. Like, so yeah, they're doing their thing. And also some lashes, and I definitely need to put these on because, yeah, I've been needing some lashes. And then they send one of their little headbands. And these definitely come in handy when you're trying to keep that wig down and you just apply the glue. And y'all, this almost had me thinking it was like lipstick or like a mascara. But y'all, this is a makeup brush. And I find this pretty cool, like how easy this is. Like, yeah. Y'all gonna see I used it on my install. But anyways, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. Yeah. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump straight in the video. I'm gonna be using my BW2 lightning powder and my 30 developer. Um, and you're basically just gonna mix them together and you want it to be a like a paste-like consistency. You don't want it to be like um, too watery because it can go through the lace and it will start to bleach your act the actual wig and you don't want your roots to be bleached. So you want it to be kind of thick enough to where it doesn't just run through, you know what I'm saying? And don't mind my BW2 and my powder thing. They have white stuff on because I do dye my hair with this all the time. So they're kind of a little rusty. But anyways, make sure it's kind of thick. Keep mixing it up. If you need to, add in more powder. And I felt like mine was kind of loose, so I did add in more powder. Okay, you guys. So now what we're going to do with that solution that we just made, flip the wig inside out. And we're just going to basically apply it to the cap. Or right there where the lace is so that the lace is tinted and it looks kind of more like a skin color so yeah I'm just taking my knife and I'm fixing to start applying it onto the lace and you could really use like a wooden stick I was looking for mine but I couldn't find it so if you can't find one just use what you can use but moral main thing don't press too hard because again you don't want it to go through the net you want to be light with it but not too light it's really a balanced thing, but it's kind of confusing. It's a little hard, but you'll get it as you go. Just press it on there and try not to like let it bleed through, basically. So y'all, after you get it all applied on there, take your foil and set the foil on it and flip it the other way. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm putting the wig, I mean, putting the foil in the wig and the inside, and I'm just gonna stuff something in there just so that it can like hold the head shape i guess you could say i'm putting my shower cap in it but anyways okay you guys so what you want to do is leave it on for 10 minutes leave this thing sit on here for 10 minutes and really and truly my 10 minutes is up um you can see where it's like making the knots lighter and i think that i'm gonna go ahead and wash it out we're just trying to make sure that it's all the way like Okay, now that the knots are done bleaching, and like y'all see where it's not really coming through onto the hair, that's what you want. You don't want it to be at the roots of the hair white right there because then your wig is getting dyed with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so anyways, now wash it out after it's set down, set there for like 10 minutes. I let mine sit a little longer than 10 minutes because 
I don't know. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna wash it out. So do that. Hey okay, y'all, so now I'm about to blow dry it since I did wash the hair out and it's still wet. Okay, you guys, now we're gonna get straight into plucking the hair, the plucking process. So, y'all, I parted down the middle and run my hot comb over it, you know, back and forth over it again and again and again, just so I could get it real flat. And when you get your hot comb, I started off brushing it to the side, like combing it over to the side, but you really wanna comb it straight back so that you could, like, really see, you know, what you're doing. So, just run your high comb over it and push all the hair towards the back because we're going to be plucking the front of the wig hey you guys so as you can see here i'm brushing the hair straight back getting ready to start plucking the wig just running a high comb over it repeatedly so that the hairs are really going into the direction that i want them to go and yeah Okay, y'all, and it's like different types of um, tweezers that you can use. And honestly, I would recommend you to get one that's not too sharp. Like, you see how these look real dull? Now, look at these. They're really sharp. They will end up cutting a hole into the lace. So, I don't be using these. I would definitely say get some dull ones with the slanted tip. So, yeah, we just fix it to go in and do that. Okay, you guys, so now you just want to, like, part off a section, like, I guess the a front row where it's more thinner already. So, you want to kind of go into the hair that's a little bit more thicker. So, we're going to part that section off, and we're going to start plucking behind this section. Okay, you guys, so the key to the plucking thing, you want to make, basically make gaps in the hair. Like, you want to not, you don't want to keep on plucking in the same spot because you're going to create a bald spot. And we definitely don't want a bald spot. So, like, space, I mean, gap, you know, oh, my God. Okay, you want to pluck, don't pluck, pluck, don't pluck. Like, basically put gaps in the hair. You're going to kind of see what I'm doing here. But it's basically like skipping a space every time. So as you can see, I'm not plucking in the same spot. Well, I am plucking in the same spot. But if you pluck in that spot, then you want to skip the spot that's on side of it. So just continue to watch because I really cannot explain it that well. Just basically think of it as like making gaps in the hair. So like I said, rip thumb out, skip, then rip, skip, rip, skip, rip. Yeah, y'all should get it. Okay, y'all, and after that first time of plucking and doing the gaps, just go over them same spots that you plucked and, like, scoot it back further in so that, like, the plucking is going further back so the layer the flatter is gonna lay yeah this is really hard to explain but i hope that y'all are understanding what i'm saying just pluck it don't pluck it don't over pluck it is the main thing okay y'all see how it's kind of like good and then like eight out then good then eight. i wouldn't let me not say eight out okay let me bro why is it not showing y'all the right way okay so y'all see how it's plucked it's like gaps it's basically skip spaces and i'm finna go in a little bit deeper like push the spaces back some like kind of you know go in further back okay y'all so anyways back to what i was saying get your dull tweezers and just gap like make gaps basically only pluck in the gap that you are making you want to do one right here then skip a space right here 
And y'all see like what I mean by that? Skip a space. Please excuse the cartoons playing in the background. My son's room is literally like the next room over. So y'all probably hear that a little bit. But anyways, we just gonna continue plucking this wig. Plucking this wig till we got it looking real nice and natural. Because we don't want no helmet wig. We don't want no big sitting up off the forehead wig. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we want it to look like scalp. And I'm giving y'all a T. I'm giving y'all a T. So stay tuned. Okay, and now I just want to show y'all the difference. Like, look how it's looking. Like, it's definitely looking good. This is how you want it to be looking. And I'm going to show y'all the other side because y'all need to see the difference in plucking your wigs and not plucking your wigs. Because once before, I didn't pluck my wigs because it will, it's kind of a difficult task, honestly. But you're going to get better as you learn to do it. And if you do this little method where you're just, you know, skipping, you shouldn't mess that up. And as long as you're not using the tweezers that have the sharp ending on them, then you should be perfectly fine, you know? Don't just be ripping out too much hair, but whenever you do it, you do want to yank it so that you can really yank it out the lace. You don't want to leave the knot in it. Like, okay, there's a knot at the beginning of the hair strand, and that's what's connected to the lace. So you want to kind of snatch that out as well so that it's no longer there, because that's the whole point in this, okay? Okay, now let me give y'all a front view. So, y'all see. Now, let's see the difference. Like, look how full that side looks and look how much better this one is. So, now, I'm going to pull these other hairs back. And I'm going to do the same thing to these. But we're not going to be, like, we're not, not too much, not too much, because it's. Okay, y'all see that? And it's definitely giving. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to go over it with our hot comb just to get that bad boy real flat and nice. Guys, never be scared to use that hot comb. You got to continue to go over this hair. You want it to be laying so flat. So, so, so flat. So, I use the hot comb over and over and over and over just to get that flat look. And that's very much how you're going to achieve the look because it's just no other way. Okay, y'all. And so, I'm supposed to put a little bit of mousse on it. Just to like really, you know, bring this baby to life. And then we're gonna run our hot comb over it. And when I get done, y'all gonna see how flat it's laying. Now, let's get into, yes, you see where it's been put, like, don't mind my mannequin here, y'all. It is a tad bit, you know, got a few things going on. But anyways, that's just because I be dying here on here and the dye be getting left on it. But anyways, y'all see where I plucked. Um, it's looking pretty good to me. So let's get ready for the install. Okay, y'all, so I just take a little edge control, my toothbrush, and just really like, you know, brush my edges back so I don't be without them. Hey, you guys, go ahead and put your ball cap on, get them braids pushed down, 
and yeah let's get straight into the video got my ghost bond glue working and y'all y'all can find this at y'all local hair store they're about like 20 dollars. you could really get them on amazon too but um yeah go ahead and put that on the lace just like put it right where your hairline would be or a little bit in front of your hairline so you don't be bald itched but just go ahead and put that on there and i feel like i really didn't put enough so i'm gonna go in with it again but just go ahead and blend it like and i try to blend it widely so that the wig has a lot to like stick to and not just like one little thin line if you get what i'm saying you see how wide the glue is going back yeah that's key now we're gonna go ahead and cut the wig cap and get it out the way you want to make sure that you cut back as far as you can like try to make it start right before your hairline or like right at your hairline pretty much because you don't want it to be you know coming from up under the wig since your lace from the wig needs to be sitting as far back as possible so just cut as much of this wig cap off as you can okay so once you get all the excess cap cut off you want to go in with your ghost bond glue or whatever glue you're using and basically just go a line go along the lines of the wig cap because like since you just cut it it's kind of raised you know a little bit so i like to make sure that mine's is extremely flat as it can be so i put glue on where it ends at or where it was cut and i just try to press it into my skin to basically help it lay flatter so that it's not you know messing with the wig in any type of way Let's get into it though. So now that you got the wig on, just see how you want to place it. Go ahead, you can start cutting the extra lace off by your ear. I always get that out the way first just so that it can you gonna know how it fits exactly. So just go ahead and cut that off. Oh, I can already see it now. This might be my color. This might just be my color. Like, bro, look at look at how it's hitting the skin. Oh my god! Like, we ain't even finished with the install. We not even, we not even finished with the install. Like, bro. Okay, y'all. So I have this Elf Deep Cinnamon. This is a liquid one. And then I have, shoot, I have this other one, but I'm using a little thing that they gave me, the little brush, and the way that it works is literally so cool, like, it looked at like a lip gloss or like a mascara, but yeah, it's a makeup brush, so we're gonna use this to blend in the um, makeup onto the lace, and I'm Okay, and I'm just taking the powder and the brush that they gave me and just basically like tinting the lace, putting some on it on the back side. Okay, you guys, now after putting the makeup on the lace, you want to go in with your glue again. And I kind of like to do two circles, well, two dots because it makes it wider for the wigs to have more space to lay or like stick to basically. Okay, anyway, so now you're just gonna smear that in and just rub it, rub it, rub it so that you can get that glue good and dry. Okay, after you get done smearing that in, go ahead and press the lace into your scalp. The length on this hair, I haven't even done nothing to it yet, <clears throat> besides run my fingers through the hair. And like, this is a 20 inch. Okay, so let's talk about it. This is a 20 inch. This, this 20 inch is like literally dang near butt length on me y'all and i left the band on for about a good 10 minutes after that you can go ahead and take the band off so you can start doing what you need to do to the wig but just leave it on for about a good 10 minutes so it can start to stick 
Okay, and now we're just gonna take our little razor and go ahead and cut the lace. Um, cut it to where as far back as you can, you know, but don't rip the lace up because it's glued down already. So just cut, cut as much as you can of the lace off. And after you get done cutting the lace, now you can see the little white cast right there. So what we're going to do is take our, um, basically the same, the glue, but it's in a spray and it's a liquid form. So we're just going to spray that, uh, adhesive lace glue on the part where it kind of looks a little white or kind of bright or whatever. We're going to take this glue and take this glue. We're going to take this spray. I'm sorry. Take this spray and spray it on the lace right there and just like, you know, kind of rub it in and that's gonna really help the wig to lay because we did just cut it so it's kind of coming up a little bit and it's not fully you know flat and laid so just go ahead and spray rub your finger across it and just mash it in there you know what i'm saying you're gonna do that across the whole thing just to get it flat 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 guys and now we're going to take our blow dryer in the end of our comb and just smash it into our skin so that it's you know it's really laying like it's no way that it's not laying it's melted you know okay so we're gonna let this sit on there again for another 10 minutes and we'll be back okay y'all so now i'm gonna take it off Okay, so this next step is really optional. You can add makeup to it if you feel like it's still not just like blending as much as you want to. And honestly, I think that the makeup that I had was a little bit too bright. So I had to go through a few more different processes. But yeah, if you have your skin tone and stuff like that, putting the makeup right there on your lace will be a good idea just to help it blend more. And I'm taking my spritz now and just doing the same thing we did with the lace glue and just spraying it on the lace to, you know, really make it tinted. Uh, it's squirting everywhere i'm like scared guys and now i'm just taking my comb and like pressing the lace into my skin combing the hair back so that it looks really natural and combed and you know just flat like take your comb and push in and comb back but don't rip the lace up because you can definitely do that i did just do that and I'm going in one more time with my spritz, but this time I'm putting it on a Q-tip and I'm just like barely dabbing it across the line just to get that real, real blended, you know, because I still seen parts where I was like, uh-uh. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go with my Q-tip and just get any of the excess, like, from right there okay y'all and so now i'm fixing to start styling it i think i'm i decided that i'm gonna do a deep side part so you know middle parts is not really my thing but i might try one soon anyways yeah so i'm gonna do a side part really deep so you know you have to really go in with it and try to make it curve not just like a straight line so that's what i'm doing basically perfecting my part right now and just parting it off trying to get that part straight. Okay, you guys, so the key to making this part real deep, you wanna try to make it look like a C. So you definitely want to go far back into the tracks, well, like where the tracks is fixes to start and like brush the hair that's at the front upwards towards your face and then brush the rest going backwards so that it can really know where it's like you know position to go okay you guys so now you want to get your high comb and really help it flatten and like train it to go the way that you want it to go pretty much so front part of the hair you want to comb forward and then the back just comb backwards which that's pretty obvious but yeah just do what i'm doing here because it's pretty self-explanatory Okay, you guys, so now basically you're just going to pick out where you want your edges to be. And since you're doing a deep part, you want the edges to kind of be deep off in there so that they can kind of swoop forward. That's how I like mine. I like mine to be swooped 
more in and forward, which I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. But y'all can also get your high comb and run it across the edge just so that the edge is like trained to come the way that you want it to go. And I'm getting my wax stick. I'm just going in with the wax stick. And I also did mousse. I don't know how I didn't get that in this video, but I definitely put mousse, you know, parted off each section and put mousse and ran my hot comb across it. So you could definitely do that as well. And then go in with your wax stick and run the hot comb over it and through each section of the hair. Cause that's really, really, really gonna get your hair flat. Like that's the flatness that you want for sure. And when you put that wax stick on top, it really gives it like that shine look that like, I don't know, but y'all can see exactly where I put the wax at. So you should get what I'm seeing pretty much. Whenever you're going over the hair, it's definitely going to seep through and probably burn you. Not technically burn you, but it is going to be hot because it was definitely burning me. Like the heat is coming through the wig. But you, if you want that wig flat, you just going to have to, you're going to have to do it. So anyways, I'm just taking my mousse now and putting it in a few different spots, brushing it in. And I'm going to get my high comb and now run over that side of the hair. Just, you know, get it flat and train the hair to go the way that I want it to go. So make sure you're running your hot comb over the back of the hair, the sides, and just training the hair to go the direction that you want it to. Hey, you guys. And when it comes to these wigs, it's never too much of the... It's never too much of this... What is... Oh my god, I can't even remember the name. It's never too much of the flat iron comb. No, not the flat iron comb. The high comb. Oh my god. Okay, so you can never use that too much because the more you use it, the flatter it's gonna get. Okay, so I'm just kept step steadily going in with my um glue. I mean my glue. Y'all, I don't have it together. I'm steadily going in with my wax stick, just running the high comb over it, really getting it to lay, 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 lay. And y'all, now I'm going to brush this side back because I wanted to have that effect like to where it's going backwards, but it's poking off the head kind of. I really don't know how to explain it, but y'all are going to see what I mean. Okay, you guys, and I had my headband thing on just to like have the edges out of the way while I basically tried to flatten the wig. You don't necessarily have to do that, but... I did it just to have the edges out the way so they don't mix in with the hair. But now I'm going in with my mini flat iron and just, you know, curling my edges downward so we can have that real fluffy look, you know, the pretty edges. We don't want the stiff little hard, barely wanting to go edges. So, yeah, we definitely just making them curl. And I forgot to cut the cap off, so I'm doing that now. And we're just going to go in and flat iron edges, well, curl the edges. Okay, you guys, so now we're just going to take the mousse, put the mousse on our comb, and rub it down on the edges. I feel like mousse just helps them look more fluffy because when you put something heavy on it, they kind of get hard and don't really want to move. So we're just going to use the mousse to slick them down because you see how easy it is, like how easy it's just swooping. Definitely recommend mousse. So get you some of that. Stop using that got to be glue. Yeah. And I'm just going to sit here and continue to perfect my edges to get that, you know, I don't know how to, what to call it, but like, I like, I feel like it's an inward swoop because you see how it's kind of going in a little bit before it swoops. I don't know, but y'all see how I'm doing it. And sadly, my phone started to run out of storage, but here I am flat ironing my hair. I'm just going to straighten it out because I did want to layer it. So I went ahead and flat iron piece by piece. I didn't get all that on camera, but y'all get into it. Okay, you guys. And so now I'm just going to flat iron it so that I can really like layer it really good. And it's all straight and even. And I'm just taking my little razor and going down the side of it so that it gives that like around the face look. Like y'all, I really do not know how to explain this stuff that great. But I hope y'all get an understanding and I hope that y'all can see it visually from what I'm doing.
Okay, y'all, so the little razor really wasn't getting it. Like, it wasn't cutting the hair good enough. So, I just went in with my scissors because it was not cutting it the way I wanted to. It was kind of making it look a little ragged. So, just went in with the scissors and cut downward, but, like, not too too much in. You know what I'm saying? And excuse my baby in the background. He decides that he wants, he has something to say. Okay, anyways, I'm curling the hair inward, like, towards my face to give it that layered look you know what i'm saying like i love that look so i just had to try it on this hair and i love this color of this hair y'all like i feel like this is my color and shout out to unice hair you nice hair for sending me this wig y'all because like get into it okay y'all and my song was playing in the background but i can't let it play because you know i might get copyrighted but anyways get into this hair because this hair is really pretty hair and I definitely love this hair. Like, no, I'm not just saying this for real. I definitely love this hair. Like, I know y'all love this hair just from seeing this hair on me. Get into it. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Join the gang. Join the gang. Y'all see the flow of the wig. Okay, stop playing with the wig. This is so cute. Like, I feel like a pretty brown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get into it. Edge of the day. <clears throat> Working booty. Yeah, y'all stay tuned for more wig installs. Of course.